What's going on guys? Welcome back. We are just chilling on the shore. We go ahead and uh wait, what's over here? Secret item perhaps? Netball. Alright. Not too bad. So I found a free netball. Let's go on up this way. See what's happening. By der ranch. What? So we're on we're on some sort of ranch. This is this is cool. We gotta cut down this damn tree get that item so I'm pretty much pretty much over it you, you you've defeated me tree uh, let's actually let's run through this this little flower patch and see what we got going on in here execute <laughs> just found a whole bunch of eggs well, I'm gonna run from you guys are executes an egg or a seed nobody knows there's an item right there that I want let's go let's go check out what's going on in this ranch we got a whole bunch of skiddos sleeping. Go goats chilling. How's it going, guys? Um. Well, let's go see what's uh see what see what's going on in this house. Hello. I love skiddos so much. I feel like I've been hit with an attract with the attract move. Here, take this TM so you can see how I feel. And she gives us attract. Nice. Quite useful. You can't pick up. You can't pick up items items from the ground while on the back of a skiddo. It would be poor manners, after all. I want to ride a skiddo. What the hell? Can I please ride one of your skiddos? That would be so cool. You can go back over this way. There's another item you got to freaking cut to get past. That's annoying. I'll go back and grab those items probably later. Look at these little guys sleeping in their nice little place. Well then, we shall be on our way. Shit, I always find Pokemon like right away. Port of Wingles. Nice. The hell out of here, Wingle. Wingles, I should say. So what's over here? We got a battle. You're about to find out just how strong my family is. Am I gonna battle your whole family? Like what? Family of Pokemon, maybe? You have two Pokemon. You got a Surviper. Nice. You're about to fear the taste the wrath of a Mega Aerodactyl, though. I apologize for that. See how you like a Rock Tomb. Just turn into a damn monster real quick. And rock to to your death. Damn it. Almost to your death. You live to get a glare off on me, which is annoying because now I'm paralyzed. Fuck you. I'm not afraid of your stupid snake. Why would I be paralyzed because of that? So now he's faster than me, gets a screech off. Fuck you, Surviper. And I'm paralyzed and can't move. Damn it, Aerodactyl. Come on now. Poison Fang don't do a damn thing. And got the bite off. Alright. So the Viper falls. Next is Miltank. Nice. Um, You know what? I'm going to send in Chuck. Chuck needs experience. He's almost level 36. We're so close. Nice teddy milk. So let's see here. I'm a seed bomb. Let's see what seed bomb looks like. Roll out. Oh shit. It's Whitney all over again. So a seed bomb pretty much just looks how it's all, how it's always looked. Just throw some seeds at you and they explode. Avoided that rollout like a boss. Chuck may be fat, but he can still get out of the way sometimes. Gonna take a body slam, ouch. And your milk tank is dead. Oh my god, Chuck is so close to level 36. Addison's level 34, and Breeder was defeated. Your family is, in fact, not that powerful. 
So I'm going to put Chuck in front because he's about to evolve and such. And it's going to be good times. Good times. You know, I might as well kill whatever the hell this is. Mill tank! Wild mill tank. Nice. Well, it's no secret where that lady found her mill tank. He's gonna use bide. Shit. Look at those. Look at it's it's weird utter. Kind of creeps me out to be honest. <laughs> so two seed bombs is gonna get it to red, and I might as well actually catch this thing. Add you to the collection, Mr. Tank. So that knocked it perfectly down to red. Uh, I need to invest in some more balls. I only have nine great balls. But it's gonna have to do. Damn it, Mill Tank! What the hell? You have like literally no health left. How did you break out of that? And you killed Chuck. You fucker. I could have just killed you really quick. And you know what? Now I'm going to. Because you don't even play nice, Mr. Mill Tank. So he's going to try to bite again. Lame. I'm going to use revenge from my bro Chuck. Sorry, Chuck. Sorry it had to happen this way. You were so close to level 36. Well, Pincer Guru leveled to level 29. Not bad. Wants to learn X Scissor, finally! Hell yeah, we're going to forget. Um, not Brick Break. Submission only has. Submission's 80 and 80. Also damages the user a little. I'm going to get rid of submission. And we got ourselves our nice ass stab bug move. Very nice. So, since Chuck died, he didn't get any of the experience, and now I got to revive his dead ass. Sorry, Chuck. Did not mean for that to happen. Well, let's just keep on keeping on then. And we got a little dude that we can battle. My swarm of bug type Pokemon is in tip top shape and buzzing for a battle. Well, alright then. So you got three Pokemon. Aiden. You're missing you're missing the H. <laughs> so you got a Yanma. I'm going to switch and I will go into You know what? Let's see how Lapras how Lapras battles. See what this dude looks like in battle. Fucking sweet. This dude's huge as hell. Tried to detect. A good thing I switched. And you got your speed boost. Which is fine by me. So I wish I had a nice move. That'd be kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with Surf. It's actually... I don't even know what Surf even looks like in battle. Let's see what the new Surf animation looks like. Holy shit. Massive tidal wave. That was pretty sick. Killed that Yanma in one hit. Lapras is already destroying bitches. Chuck grew to level 36. All right. Next is a Whirlipede. You know what? Lapras can just stay in and do his thing. Fuck your Whirlipede. Give you a Surf. It's going to be a nice, easy two-hit KO. I don't care about your iron defense. You're using special attacks anyways, bitch. All right. So, we're the Pete Faints. And this guy's just got one more Pokemon. And it's a Mothim. Mothim? Really? This guy's got some weird-ass bugs. Uh, I feel like body slamming this thing. It's because why the hell not? Flatten that bitch like a pancake. <laughs> and even got the para hacks on it. Sweet. It breaks through the para. Let's get the hidden power off. Super effective, so it's like fighting or electric or something. That's pretty cool. And your Motham is dead. And now it is time for the moment of truth. I finally get to see what Chuck evolves into. I've been avoiding spoilers for fucking ever now. And it's finally about to pay off. It's happening. I'm expecting it to turn into something really fat.
Here we go. Holy sh- what the fuck? Turned into Bowser! Chestnut. Holy shit, this thing is awesome. Wow. That is badass, it's trying to learn Spiky Shield. The hell is that? I got some sweet ass new spikes on my back. Spiky Shield is a gla grass type move. In addition to protecting the user from attacks, the move also damages any attacker who makes direct contact. That's actually really cool. Um, should I, should I, learn, should I teach it? Let me get rid of Bite. I mean, I'm probably not going to use Bite very much, and I want to see how this spiky shield thing works. Freaking sweet. I also I haven't used Leech Seed like at all with Chuck, but Leech Seed Leech Seed's sweet. So, dude, let's look at this guy. Got a damn astronaut. So here's Chuck. He's 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 freaking awesome. Look at this guy. Wow. I feel like I chose the right starter. This guy's cool as hell. Well, we're just gonna continue then. Where the hell should we go? There's some. Oh, what's up, bro? I like to bury my face in the fur around Taurus's neck and take a big whiff of its scent. It's a jinx for a battle. I, s I hear. You're fucking weird, man. It's a little bit creepy. Luckily, I don't have a Tauros. So this guy would fucking smell it. So he's gonna bring out a Zengoose. And I got my badass fucking shield guy. Let's use spiky shield see what this looks like. Nice. So it protects, protects myself. So it's basically just a cool of protect. Anytime they try to hit you after you use that, it hurts them. So that's pretty sick. It's actually really cool. I'm a seed bomb you, Mr. Zangoose. And I should be using pincer. Why am I not using pincer? Zangoose is dead. Aerodactyl grew to level 33. Not bad. Wants to learn Crunch. Hell to the yeah. Get rid of Scary Face. Nobody got time for Scary Face. And we learned Crunch. Sweet. Next is Tauros. Oh, this guy has his own Tauros. I'm switching to Dick Pinch on this one. And my beast ass pincer can destroy your Tauros. After the Intimidate though, that kind of sucks. Lame. Work up. Raise some stats, are you? Attack and special attack. Work up's a pretty cool move. So let's see. Brick Brick does... Not even half after the damn Intimidate. I know he's going to hit me with an attack, so I'm going to go for the Revenge. Oh, okay. Or not. He's just going to keep on... Keep on working up. Shit. Fuck you, Tauros. Too bad you didn't attack me. That would have worked out. Well, now this is probably going to hurt payback. Holy shit. Okay, or not. That didn't really <laughs> didn't really do a, da a damn thing. Pinsir doesn't even give a fuck about your payback. So, pinch your dick one last time, and your Tauros is dead. Pinsir grew to level 31 off of that. Jesus. Experience for days. Carly grew to level 35. Nice. Wants to learn Pluck. Uh, that's a move that takes their... Hold berry? Hold... Use a pecks the target. If the target's holding a berry, eats it and gains its effect, which actually is pretty cool. It's a flying type move. I might as well get rid of um. I'm gonna get rid of payback. Can always use just another type move. Sweet, got some pluck. And we defeated this breeder. You got a sweet snapback though, bro. I'll give you that. So let's see. I wanna I wanna see what's in this grass. There's probably an item right here. Pachirisu! What's happening, bro? I'll let you go on your on your merry way. And actually, let me put Pincer in front real quick. Just because that guy needs to get some experience. So is there an item here? Nope, there is not. They tricked me that time. Dicks. And Slowpoke! Oh my god, no way, there's a Paw. There are wild Paws here, guys. 
I'm gonna X-Scissor it. Raped. Sorry, Paul. Had to do that to you, bro. So let's keep on going this way, see, what, see what's happening over here. It's a cracked boulder, might be able to break it. What's up, fisherman? Fishing is all about catching and releasing. As he battles me. Sweet. Murray, he's got a Magikarp. Holy shit, this is probably the guy with the six Magikarps. Great. <laughs> well, this is gonna be quite a long battle. It's pretty much, look at the, why did they make Magikarp look like that? Come on, man, really? Just flopping around like that. I wonder if you actually have a battle in the water. If he swims around or just flops around. Well, level 24 Magikarps are all about to... Well, I'm, I'm only assuming this guy's got six Magikarps. When you see a fisherman that leads off with a Magikarp that's got six Pokemon, you can pretty much guarantee that he's the guy that they put in here for the speed EV training. <laughs> and all my Pokemon actually have Pokerus, so I'm getting twice the EVs for this. Pincer's going to be one fast motherfucker. Kill that Magikarp. Next is another Magikarp. Well, you're just super fun to battle, guy. You gotta, uh, you gotta upgrade your rod, honestly. I'm using an old rod. Fucking up, man. Another Magikarp. Freaking. Oh my god. The last one should be a Gyarados. <coughs> and why? Why do you have level 24 Magikarps, bro? Yeah, this is the rookiest trainer I've ever seen. Another Magikarp? Oh my god. Let's hurry this up, Murray. I got places to be. After this one, we just got one more to kill, and then we're pretty much good to go. And here's the last one. So it is, in fact, not a Gyarados. This guy ain't got shit. One last X scissor. And your team of Magikarps have been defeated. You probably could have seen that coming, couldn't you? Couldn't you, Murray? I wouldn't have lost so badly if I just released sooner. <laughs> Seriously, you should have released all those damn things. Or you could give me one if you want. So we can surf up that way, but I'm going to continue. Let's see what's on. Oh, shit. We arrived in the new city and we got a hollow clip. What the hell's going on? Oh, what's up? Serena, Tits McGee, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Welly, welly, well then. Got to battle our rival in front of the gym. Cool. There's some sweet ass speedboats. Nice. What the hell is this? Nice little, nice little doc. What's up, old guy? When I was a child, I saw a Pokemon trainer with a great Ampharos in Azure Bay. Talking about the lighthouse Ampharos? Let's take a look at this house, see what's going on in here. Well, if it isn't a traveling trainer, it must be terrible walking all over the place like that. Yep, it's, it's just god-awful. Please don't take anything that my wife says to heart. Your youth is simply too much for us. Older folks who lost the, lost the adventuring spirit, she gives a, he gives us a silk scarf. Silk scarf um, raises the power of normal type moves as a hold item, so that's pretty cool. I used to throw one of those on my, one of my ammo palms because he only had fake out and double hit. Pretty cool. I've traveled around the world and collected many different kinds of incense. No thanks. I do not want your incense. A wandering young trainer, are you? Let me guess. You wish to fish for all the Pokemon in the water, right? Hell yeah. Collected good rods. Sweet. This guy gives us a good rod. Fishermen are the nicest people, man. They're always just giving away the rods. No homo. What's going on at the Kalos power plant? I heard the electricity for Lumois is getting lower than usual. Well, Seaside Station. Let's take a look at what's going on in here. Oh shit, it's Professor. It's my professor. What the hell are you doing in here? Well, hello, Tits McGee. Congratulations. I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution, a Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and trainer is the key to this new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? And why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of po something like Kalos Legendary Pokemon? Found only here in Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not a coincidence. 
What an excellent point indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Indeed. Oh, that's right. I came here to give you this. Obtained HMO2 fly. Sweet. Thank you for that. Uh, cool. Well then, Tits McGee. Tantha, I hope to see you again soon. See you both again soon. Peace out. And she leaves. No, nope. Bonds, they really are important to us. Oh, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. Cool. Never mind me, I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's have a battle the next let's have a battle the next we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Well, alright then. What do you say? Tee hee! Even the movie star Dantha rides mon rides the monorail. So this is the monorail, huh? Cool. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we're gonna battle our rival in front of the gym and whatnot. Peace.